In this video, we are going to look at some of the more Figma uh, keyboard shortcuts that are commonly used when you are on a frame or a canvas. So whenever you have uh, opened up a new file, uh, there are a lot of things you can do. For example, you want to align these objects. So first we are going to look at these alignment uh, shortcut keys. So you, you have to select two objects to align them. So once you have align, uh, selected two of them, you can press Alt and V for vertical centers. Now I'm going to press Alt and V. So now you can see they have uh, uh, aligned in a vertical direction. So the bottom one was coming up and the left one was coming down, I think. I, I Let's go back, Control or Command Z and Alt and V. You can see. So similarly, we can do uh, with alt and h for horizontal centers so their horizontal centers are you can see over here these are their centers so i'm going to press alt plus h to align them like that for example i have this and this and i want to align them horizontally i'm going to press alt and h so you can see this is how you align different objects and most commonly we use horizontal alignment and vertical alignment now we are going to look at some of the shortcuts of the tools over here at the top which we are going to access a lot of times. First one is A or F for artboard. You can draw your frame or artboard over here or you can click over here and choose from a predefined size over here. For example, I am going to go with this Android. Now let's zoom in and I am going to pan over here and I am going to press my R key for rectangle. O for ellipse and I'm going to hold my shift key to have it in proportion like this. L for line so I'm going to drag my line I'm holding shift so it is straight. Similarly for text tool I'm going to press my T and I can either drag like this or I can just press T and oops I have to press escape and I have I am going to press T again and press over here hello oops hello there something like this and I'm going to press escape at the end like that so this is how you are going to use these tools over here if you want to access pen tool you can press P shortcut key and do something like that something like this and um, I think that is all of the shortcut keys I think which are commonly used and these are the tools we are going to access again and again. Now let's delete this one and I'm going to go back over here and we are going to study some of the more shortcuts we are commonly going to use a lot of times. One of them is duplicate. So I want to duplicate this layer and I want it to be exact same like this. There are many ways. First you can use Alt or Option key and press and you will have a double cursor like this just drag this object wherever you want to place it and you can see this is a duplicate now you can press and hold command or control plus d to have another duplicate it will be it will repeat your step the same spacing everything and duplicate the object now we have three of these rectangles i want to group them i'm i'm going to select all of them and I'm going to press command or control G to group them. Now you can see the icon over here, this group one has been changed and it has this marching ants over here around it. So it's a group and all these rectangles are inside this group. Now if you want to ungroup it, the same shortcut key but with an addition of shift. So control or command plus shift plus G. So you can see now they are back. We are out of outside of that group. That group is no more over there. Now on the left, you can see this is our layer stack. So we have image at the top, rectangle, this rectangle, blue one at the bottom, three black rectangles and text. Now if you want to change the position of this stacking without, uh, you know, uh, using your mouse, you can either drag them like this or drag them like this. For example, uh, I have over here. So if I move my rectangle at the top, you can see the text is behind this layer. So if I move it up, it is now over here. 
So this is called stacking order. I'm going to change the colors of these uh, rectangles so you can easily see the difference. And for this one, I'm going to use white color. Now you can see I have all these rectangles over here and uh, this is my rectangle at the bottom. Now if I want to change the stacking order, I can use shortcut key like control shift and brackets. So now I'm going to press, uh, I have selected this layer, for example, this layer, and I, I'm going to shift it up or down by using control shift and bracket. So you can see over here, you can either use, this is going to be at the bottom. So if I try to use control shift and bracket left bracket, it is going to go down the most bottom of all the layer stacks stack. So similarly, if I press the right bracket or ending bracket, it is going to go up. You can see over here, the shortcut key for Mac keyboard is alt plus command plus bracket. So it is alt command bracket. And for Windows, Control, Shift, and Bracket, left and right bracket. So you can also remove your Shift from the key and you just press and hold Control along with your um, bracket and you can see it will move one step up, one step down, one step up. So I'm leaving Shift inside this uh, shortcut key. So I will display both shortcuts in Mac version and Windows version for single layer movement uh, within the stack and moving up and down at the bottom and at the top of the stack using your shortcut keys. Now let's end this lesson by uh, showing you last two shortcut keys which are masking and uh, this component. So you can see if you hover over there, it also shows you the shortcut key for Windows, it is Control Alt plus K, and for Mac, it is Control Alt for plus uh, sorry Command Alt plus K or Option plus K. So same, uh, everything is same. Just Command is for Mac. So for creating a component which is going to be used again and again, so I'm going to select all these three, and I'm going to either click over here or I can press. Control, Alt and K. And now you can see the icon has been changed and it is a component now. So you can see this is a very good shortcut key. We are going to use it again and again. If you want to get back to your older states and you want to break this component, you don't want to use it, uh, right click and we have a lot of options over here. Okay, so you can see over here, bring forward, bring to back. These were the shortcut keys I use, group selection or frame selection. You can also frame them, flatten, outline, use as mask. This is the next shortcut key I'm going to tell you, Control Alt plus M. So this is how you create a component. Now, if you want to mask something, for example, I'm going to use an ellipse over here and uh, I want to mask this uh, area behind me. So this is a component at the back and this is the ellipse at the uh, top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this at the back. This one is at the back. You can see this is going to be my mask and the uh, top one is going to be what I am uh, actually trying to hide. So these portions on the left and right, they are going to be hidden. So I'm going to select both of them. You can see my container is at the back and my uh, information or whatever I want to show my content is at the front container at the back content at the front. So we are going to select both of them and we are going to press control or command alt plus M control alt M. So you can see now they are masked. So this is, you can see this uh, sign shows, you can see over here, this is small, um, you can say like uh, moon. So this is this icon. This shows that this has been uh, masked. So this is actually our mask. So we can you can see show and hide our mask by clicking over here. We can also lock the layer over here. And this is our component. So this is the uh, content we are trying to show. 
सो नाउ आई हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल एंड सिंपल टिप फॉर यू सो वंस यू आर डिज़ाइनिंग एंड स्टार्टेड डिज़ाइनिंग इन फिगमा एंड यू हैव फॉर गॉटन एनी शॉर्टकट की डोंट गूगल अराउंड जस्ट क्लिक ओवर हेयर इन दिस एरो एरिया दिस क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड देर वी हैव शॉर्टकट की बोर्ड शॉर्टकट्स सो वंस यू सेलेक्ट दिस की बोर्ड शॉर्टकट्स वेदर यू आर ऑन अ मैक और अ विंडोज पी सी यू कैन ईजिली सी वट एवर ऑल द डिफरेंट शॉर्टकट्स आर सो जूम टैक्स शेप सिलेक्शन कर्सर एडिट ट्रांसफॉर्म अरेंज एंड कंपोनेंट्स सो दिस एंड्स आवर फिगमा शॉर्टकट्स आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड एंड लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ शॉर्टकट्स एंड यू आर गोइंग टू यूज दैम इन योर नेक्स्ट लेसन एंड इन योर न्यू यू कैन से डिज़ाइन प्रोजेक्ट्स सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन डू आस्क मी लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट लेसन